Hey, it's EJ Bobo 3 and let's begin. What is going on, wizards and weirdos? It is your resident D&D nerd, EJ Bobo 3 here. Now, this is going to be a different for way, foray into what I'm used to doing. I'm used to doing this game and stuff, but I wanted to dive into something that I have fallen in love with, Dungeons and Dragons. And my first video on the topic, I figured, should be something very simple. The basics, you know what I mean? Just starting off simple. And now you might think, oh, what comes to starting off the basics? You know, rules, you know, how to play, maybe even a DM screen if you're going to DM. You'd be wrong. The most important thing that you need to start D&D is these bad boys right here. Yes, that's right. These little plastic chunks are exactly what you need to start off any good D&D &D game. These little, these little items are quintessentially the most important part of your D&D &D arsenal. These dice control literally everything that you can do in a, any given game. These control if you can break through a door using a strength check. See if you can convince somebody that you're on their side with a persuasion check. You know, stuff like that. These dice, not only are they very, very important, they're also very, very pretty. Which has led to me having a collection of over 20 plus sets so far, with more on the way. So I figured my first foray into D&D &D on YouTube, I would just go through and dive into my pretty decently sized D&D um, dice collection. And if there's any story that stand out or someone want to tell you guys about it, I will absolutely let you know. Before we do that, guys, this is something that I am very excited to dive into. This is a brand new thing that I'm trying out. So, if you like D&D and you want to do more videos like this, let me know. Drop a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, hit the bell. All the buttons down below. I love to appreciate you all so much. And, uh, yeah, let's get into my collection. So, obviously, I'm not going to show every single set of dice that I own. I'm just going to show off, like, my first set of dice, the ones that I like the most, and my biggest collection of dice. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a sec. I think I'm going to show off my first pair first. Now, my first pair of dice was something that I was really, really like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all out. So I got a very, just like, unnecessarily complex set of dice for my first one. They're not the craziest thing in the world, but they were very complex for someone who didn't know shit about D&D like a year and a half ago. And it is these right here. These are Liquid Core Dragon Eye dice. I don't know how well my camera's picking up. I'm going to get some uh, other shots, but... Every single dice that is in this set has a dragon's eye in the center of it. I don't know, you can see it like wiggling around a little bit. So these are liquid core dice with a prosthetic dragon's eye floating in the middle of it. These dice are really, really good. This has been, this was the first set I ever got. Um, I believe I bought them off Amazon. But uh, yeah, these dice were what I used in my very, very first like game and I use the D6 in it to roll my first ever stat so these dice uh, be it a little insane looking are some of my favorite dice because they are my first set they have a lot of sentimental value to me another set I got that was a little bit extra was these right here these are a little less um stylized and all that these are like split like fire and ice dice let me see if I can it's really dark oh my god you, yeah there it goes you see it's shining a little bit these ones are a little bit larger, and let me pop the D20 out. So right there, boom, you can see the split inside the actual dice right there. The, the 20 area is like this red color, and then the other side is like this emeraldish, bluish like split. Uh, these ones I have not played with, I just I saw them, and I thought they were really, really, really cool. My only problem with these, and that's probably won't going to be why I never use them, is that it's not weighted properly. So the sad thing about this is that the red that where the 20 is, this area is like, it's heavier. So it's, it leans more towards going to the bottom. Um, I've tried rolling it and just seeing like running my running my odds on it and it just, it didn't work out. So I will probably, end, I'll probably never end up using these in actual play, but they are very, very pretty. The next set of dice is not really a set. It is just a um, gathering of dice that I have. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the main factor that got me into D&D overall was sitting down and finally watching um, Dropout's Dimension 20. I am in love with Dimension 20. I think it is one of the... It's I haven't watched that many, but it's my favorite of the D&D shows I have watched. That Between that, like Critical Role, and um, other ones like that that I want to get into, it's been my favorite. I, you know, like a lot of people, I started off with Fantasy High, as you do, getting into D&D, and... 
I saw this on the Dropout website and I knew that I had to get it. I don't have any, either of the dice sets yet. I do want to get them. They just released a new one. I'm very, very excited to get my hands on. But we have this right here. It is a locker from Fantasy High. And this is a full set of six different stylized D20s. I'll get a close-up shot later, but right here. So each D20 is meant to represent a different character in Fantasy High. So we have this bright blue one for uh, Adine. We have this very cl nice clear one with the red numbers for Fabian Aramaeus Seacaster. We have a dark red one with the light golden uh, lettering for uh, Fig Faith. We have a blue one with green lettering for Gorgok Thistle Spring. And then we have a green on green, which is a really, really nice one for Riz Gut Gag. And then finally, my favorite one is this clear, um, it is this clear D20 with, it's like this crystalline flower in it for Christine Applebee's. And my favorite detail about these is the D20 right there. Let me see if I can get it. It says Hoot Growl. You, you know the saying if you're a D20 fan. Uh, fantasy I fan. Hoot, growl, hoot, growl, hoot, growl. Yeah. These are overall my favorite um, set uh, of like D20s. They're like stylized D20s. I don't have a lot of just singular D20s, but these are my absolute favorite. I love them. I am. I really, really love D20. I love Dimension 20, and I'm excited to watch more of it. These are dice that I mainly use when I'm DMing. I mainly use these uh, for like rolling op uh, opposed checks, stuff like that. These dice are really, really handy if I need like a bunch of D20s uh, really fast, which I haven't had to use that much, but they're very nice to have. This next little bit is going to be like a speed run. Um, I have this binder right here, which is where majority of my dice live their long, fruitful lives. So I unzip right here and then pop this open. Oh, hey, oh, 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 hey. This is probably the nice thing that I have. I am absolutely in love with this dice holder. So this has a total of 10 sets in them. So I pop this, take this down, and on the other side, we have that right there. So boom, a full 10 set of dice. There's none that stick out all too well in these sets right here. There is this set right here. It's like, it's a lime, it's a lime green with the golden leathering on it as well. This one I got from, I wanna say a friend gave it to me. They gave me like an old dice tray that um, I had no use for. And I think I just find that one really, really nice. And then the other set in, in here that's of mention is this one right here. This is another one that I got off Amazon. It was very, very simple. This is a all white D20 with blood splattering all around it. Uh, you can see right there the blood is all throughout the numbers it, it's like that for every other dice in this set right here these are all like i think these just look very very sick um i, I have not found a use for these dice yet but i think if i ever make a vampire character i would definitely use dice like this i think this dice just scre is screaming to be used by a vampire character yeah, they're so they're so very very clean and um a majority of the a majority of these are also just straight from Amazon. So that's where a lot of these dice in my collection live. These next couple sets of dice are dice that I'm going to call my living outside and having a great time dice. Cause I all got, I got these from the same exact place. Um, so the story behind this is that I went to the Bristol Ren Fair in Bristol, Wisconsin, which was a fun ass thing to do for my 25th birthday. It was this year, 25th birthday. So I went and I was like, well, I'm going to get some fucking dice while I'm there. And um, I squirreled away some money and I was able to save and I got me a couple pairs of dice that I was really, really excited about. The first one are these dice right here. They come in their own pride bag, but these are pride rainbow dice. These dice are fantastic. They are fully rainbow striped. They go all the way through. And then another really, really cool thing about these dice is not only that, they also, I'm gonna put in like a shot here, they also glow in the dark. And the glow on these dice are really, really fantastic because each, the, the section of the dice, they each glow the color. So 
the orange section glows orange, yellow, yellow, green, green. They all glow the colors that they show on the dice right now, and I just think of like my like plastic dice. These are like my favorites that I have. These next two I'm gonna show together because they are two of my first. I have my first set of oversized dice. These were, I think they were called like brimstone dice. I think. Can I even find the D20? But yeah, these are. Look how giant that damn D20 is. It is insane. The like red like markings on them too. They look really, really, really cool. Like these have been fun to very, very like to throw. Like listen to this. Just oh my. Oh, that's so satisfying. These will have been a very fun pair of dice to use. I love them a lot. And then my second uh, first dice are going to be these right here, which these are really, really nice. These are dragon scale dice, and not only are they dragon scale, they, my friends, are metal. This is my first ever set of metallic dice. They even sound chunky when I throw them. That's just insane. You could murder somebody with these dice look at that pattern work right there these are amazing the numbers are very very clear and they come through you can even see some like scuffing from when I, from throwing it these have been a lot of fun to play with as well they feel like they're like nice and heavy which is makes sense because they are metal but they have this like really really nice feel to them like it feels good to hold them it feels good to throw them it feels good to shake them in your hands it's these are these are a, definitely a favorite of mine. The last set of dice I got from that's Ren Fair are going to be these right here. Um, I had the giant set right then, and now I have these, which is the small set of dice. The entire set, the entire set of seven dice, fit in the palm of my hand, right there. These dice are legitimately adorable as hell they have this really really cool blue icy look to them it's not showing up great on camera but the white numbering on them it's fan oh hold on can i get the focus there we go the white numbering on them is incredible they are really really nice you know i i'm amazed that i haven't lost these yet these have been very i've kept them sealed i don't play with them as often like, I'm never, like, breaking out the mini dice, but they are, you know, a lot of fun to roll as well. They have nice little, like, softer clanking sounds. I think they're really, really cool. They even sound good putting away, just right there. They even, they, they sound awesome when you put them away. Not a lot of dice are like that. All right, to finish up, we have my latest pair of dice, which I bought. Uh, this is the dice I bought most recently, and you've already seen it. It's these right here. That I got in the beginning. These are my like frozen dice, I guess I would say. Um, I bought these specifically as set dressing for my first ever custom campaign that I ran. Uh, we've only gone through one session, but I'm hoping to do more. But yeah, I've already shown these off. They have like this nice icy blue coloring on it. But yeah, they have this nice blue sheen to them. These are probably the simplest dice I think these were like only seven bucks but I bought them as like set dressing for my campaign which was pretty much just these have been used as an energy source um, if you guys want more information on my first ever campaign I wrote I'd love to talk about it but yeah these are really really nice these are also the main dice that I used as uh, my first time DMing because that was also my first time DMing a game which was a shit ton of fun as well anyway guys that is pretty much it for my dice collection these have been a lot of fun to collect. I'm always looking for new pairs, and I'm, I'm hoping to make a part two once I get more. But right now, these are the main ones that I use. I love them so very, very much. If you guys enjoyed like this new-ish style of video from me, and you are excited for me to do more D&D shit, let me know in the comments below. I'm very, very happy to branch out and be trying something new, something I'm passionate about. I'm very, 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 very much loving this, and I hope you guys love it too. Anyway. I've been your boy, Each of All the Three. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all nothing but nat 20s in the future. And I will see you all in my next video. You guys are amazing, beautiful, fantastic, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!